to new developments in the investigation involving a deadly plane crash in Anahuac. Federal investigators are revealing evidence from that black box. Remember, they couldn't find it for a while. Finally, they did find it, and it's telling them about what happened moments before the crash. Our Joel Eisenbaum is in the newsroom right now to tell us all about it. Joel? Bill, it was just 18 seconds. The crew started communicating about losing control of the plane just 18 seconds before the recording stops. Presumably, that's impact. So in the time you've come to me until right now, that's the time they had to save themselves. Not a lot of time at all. So it appears whatever went wrong with that 767 cargo jet, it went wrong in a hurry, at least when it comes to loss of control. If you're flying at 6,000 feet, you're on approach, you have very little time to address a catastrophic problem. Keep in mind the 18 seconds is an initial figure by the NTSB. And what you're watching right now is actual video of Flight 3591's cockpit voice recorder at an NTSB laboratory. On Sunday, crews also located another piece of the puzzle. That's the flight data recorder. The NTSB says that device successfully recorded 350 parameters. So they should get a pretty clear picture of what the plane was doing and what, if anything, mechanically failed. Also today, Sky 2 was in the air to catch what is a sizable salvage operation now. Trinity Bay is teaming with crews who are collecting the pieces of this jumbo jet. There are also booms in place to try to contain various potentially hazardous liquids. The heavy duty work is now getting underway because the three bodies have been recovered as well as the recorders. We know the plane was in heavy weather. We know the plane was about 27 years old. We don't know what caused the crash. The NTSB does say the quality of the cockpit voice recording gets worse just before impact, but they are using sophisticated filtering to try to isolate voices. We're live in the newsroom tonight. I'm Joel Eisenbaum, KPRC, Channel 2 News.